Rasa. That's it, Andy. Put your back into it. Work it. Whoa! Fucking hell, mate! Oh no! Good behind. We're gonna hit the iceberg. Hey! Oh, hey, babes! Look at him. Oh. Two great trips. 
Washington, 24 hours in Washington where my phone died so I didn't get a chance to really do an update or a blog because my battery died, I lost loads of good footage, I was really upset but you know what I thought, life goes on, I'm back in Washington next month, get over it, it's fine. So then I've just come back from New York and it's probably the first time since I've been doing this job that I've actually sat on the crew bus and was like, I love my life, I love the job, I love my life, I love what I'm doing. It's hard work, I'm tired, my body doesn't know what the hell is going on, but I really love what I'm doing, I really love my life, I'm so grateful. Um, I compare where I was last year to this year and I'm a different person. I was so weak, so weak as a person last year. This year I'm strong, I'm confident, everything's changed. Like the girl that I was, the woman that I was, and actually I'm the girl, the girl that I was last year, I was just a pancake, I was willing to change my life for a guy. I was like, you know, if I meet a guy, I'll do anything to make him happy. I'd bow down, I'd cry, beg, plead. And I see, I was just wrong. It's, it's just so desperate. Like, I didn't need to do any of that. And then the way that I feel now, I feel empowered. And it's like, if I meet somebody, they have to fit around me and my life. And I'm not going to give up this lifestyle that I'm doing. I'm not going to give up this job that I'm doing for nobody until I'm ready to stop doing it, until I've had enough and it won't be for another person, it will be when I want to do it on my terms and I kind of had a moment of realisation where I felt utter gratitude for everything that has happened in my life, every person that has been part of my life, part of my path, good and bad because they've got me to this crazy lifestyle where I am now and Everything has changed. I'm a different person. Life is different. Life is so fast. Like, I was literally in New York for two days, and it it just it's unbelievable. Like, there's so much to do, so much to say. I um, were with amazing people. We went to a really amazing rooftop bar. Um, I forget what it's called, but it was on the High Line. So we went there and you, we had like a whole view of Manhattan and the sun was going down and I was like, wow, fuck, this is my life. I'm in a roof bar in Manhattan. Like, what the hell? Like, I'm so lucky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then the next day, uh, we went to Central Park. We went, uh, we went on Boat Lake, the Boat Lake in Central Park where Sex and the City has been filmed and some other films um, and we went on a rowboat and we saw a raccoon on the side and tortoises and yeah we just had a really really good time it was cheap, it was like $15 like for this rowboat between like four of us um, had a great people, great time, it was just so so good and then we went for a really nice food in a place called, I think it's Teo, it, I don't know, it's about T-A-U, and, oh no, T-A-O, T-A-O, and it was just amazing, like, it was this giant Buddha inside, the food was amazing, I managed to uh, concoct myself from being vegan, which was amazing, there wasn't actually anything on the menu for vegan, which was a bit disappointing, but, um, they made me um, like some vegetables and noodles and tofu and it was just really, really good food. When we came out of there, we were walking down Fifth Avenue, absolutely started hammering it down, absolutely hammering it down. It was like some kind of weird monsoon. I had a summer dress on. Anyway, we ended up in Times Square, absolutely drenched. By this time, we just didn't give a crap. I thought, you know what, I'm fully embracing it. So, embrace the rain, and yeah, I just, you know what? When your life becomes a life where being in New York is normal, like seeing these amazing places is normal, it's like, you know what, this is my life, and, Anyone can do it. 
anybody, anybody can do it. And it's it was that trip into New York that really made me realise that how happy I was and that I'm in that place, living my life for me and I'm really fucking okay. I'm knackered, but I'm okay. And I just, I'm so hungry for life. I'm so hungry for more. And honestly, I, I just, like every time there's a new trip, so there's more to film, more to photograph, and I just don't know what to say or what to give you. And I just want to tell everybody everything, but I don't know where to start because life is so fast and it happens so quickly. And I just don't know, but all I can say is, Life is fucking great and you need to go out and you need to live it because we don't know when it's going to end. So get out there, love life, live life and get that balance, mind, body, spirit. So important, the triangle. And the most amazing part of the trip, my favourite, favourite part is me and Marley, one of the other girls. We ran 10k from our hotel to Brooklyn Bridge and across the Brooklyn Bridge and it's like, yes, that was like something off my bucket list. I have always wanted to go to Brooklyn Bridge. So yeah, I've done it and this weekend I'm going to San Fran, so living life. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the universe and to me because I did this myself.